girl's hair. Another mom had told me about it, and yeah. I feel like at the end, if you use something like this on the curls when they're totally done, that it made it too wet and a little bit soggy. And then when I was taking them out, they just seemed not as tight and bouncy. So I would just spray lightly with the big sexy hair. Again, it's just if you guys have a good hairspray that you use, um, the pump I think works okay. I think it was nicer to stand back and do like an aerosol over the top and it kind of just soaked in, I guess, where the little spots were versus a spray that was more condensed to one spot. So that's just what I found. So I kind of used last year, I got on these three. Um, I've been pretty hair girl, pretty girl hair for like four years probably. I don't even know, I've kind of lost track. So um, anyway, so those are the, the main products. I don't really, I don't use any other hairspray. Um, I do use gel on her hair to start with, which is, I'll show you kind of how to start. And I use gel um, as a bit like doing the bun, basically. You're just doing half bun. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'll go through some of the other products. I have different curling irons that I've used throughout the time and I kind of just switch. I don't know why, I don't know if it's her hair length, I don't know if it's just my mood, um, but I just use different ones. Um, this one is nice because it does not have a clip. And again, some people are gonna hate it. Um, you have to wear a glove or you'll burn yourself, obviously. Um, but it's longer, you can see it's a longer barrel and it's skinnier, so around one inch is what you need. Okay, if it's any bigger, um, it depends how long your hair is. If it's shorter hair and you try to bigger one, it's not going to come out as well. Um, again, I think the longer hair with the, with the one inch is totally fine. And again, this one I liked, um, and the reason I bought this one once was because the clip doesn't come up as far. So when you put the clip on, sometimes that makes it flat. I don't know if you guys, lots yeah. of people who've done it before. Um, it just makes it kind of flat in that area when you take it off and it also sticks because you have so much hairspray that it sticks inside there and you have to like pry it off. Um, and then when I took it off, it sometimes was flat. And again, if it does that, you just start over, which I just didn't want to do on that curl. And then um, Nan, who's in charge of our costume shop, her daughter was a part of here for many years as well. And this is what she liked. It was just a plain old regular one inch shorter. Um, barrel. So I, I would just, you know, I would get a couple. And my fear was that I'd be in the middle of doing your hair and like one would break or not work or not get hot enough. And, you know, and then you're kind of, so I would always buy two and then do what you want, return one later if you don't need it, do whatever. But um, I would recommend probably getting two. <laughs> and again, two the same if you really love it or try two different kind of models and then you can try them out. Um, but again, this one I, I thought was honestly probably my favorite one um, just because has a shorter clip. Now, to me, I wish it would be like even shorter. Um, it was a little bit, but I, this was the only one with like half the clip, you know, like a shorter clip. So that's why I went with it. But I mean, it, it's fine. And again, longer hair, so it, you can probably notice yeah, it. I was thinking that's, she's nice. Yeah. And she's, but I, I mean, this hair is, is pretty long. I was saying, I don't know if that's as big as two. I wouldn't go as big as two. Like one and a half is probably mm -hmm. the biggest you want to go. One is the best. So. Um, Nan also, Aquanet's like the old standby. She preferred that. Again, it doesn't really matter what you use. Breeze and Shine for sure. Um, and then she likes Swab. My daughter uses Swab just for normal hair, like uh, bun hair for class. And really likes it. I don't think it's quite as drying as using like Breeze and Shine every time. So, anyways, you can buy all this stuff at um, the, well, Ulta has it all, I think, as well. Um, but you can buy even the generic. I saw Paul Mitchell at um, the Beauty. Yeah, um, so, you know, I don't think one works any better or worse than the other. Um, but you can buy a big one. I would probably go through like two of these um, for the whole show. So I would buy a couple of these um, just to have, or unless you want to risk it. You want to take the hair lesson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you look like you're you here for that. I could, yeah. I, <laughs> could you some a style, you'll <laughs> charge me for so, a style. So yeah, I don't know, you know, if you can get a bigger bottle. Um, mine would get so sticky, I just wanted to throw it away when I was done, so that's why I buy two of the smaller ones. But anyway, so those are the products. Um, as far as the sprays, um, this is the glove, you guys know. Like if you buy a curling iron, this is the glove. It's like a, kind of like an oven mitt, really. So that's with the other one. Um, I've heard different ways to pin the curls up, so I'm just giving you a real quick preview before I show you, because I'm not going to curl her whole hair. It takes probably a good hour to do that. Um, I would say, like, your first time, maybe playing a little bit more. Um, but once you've got it down, I would plan for an hour before you need to leave to get the hair done. Um, but once you get the curls in, what I would do is I would take two of these clips. Again, I'm not even sure what size these are. I think they just come in, like, short and long. They're just the double prong clips. Um, but when she has her curls and I pull it off of the curling iron, I'll show you that I take this and I just clip it so that it just stays up by her scalp. 
because if you just let the girls down, my daughters probably would not stay in. She's doing warm up, the older girls do that. So do you have to clip, clip it up? Um, and I would just crisscross two. So you clip it and clip it. Um, and then that would stay. Some of the moms I know just use bobby pins, so you don't have to go out and buy clips if you don't want any. Um, I don't know about the longer ones. To me, the shorter ones just work better. They didn't get in the way of the next curl over. So. I find those to be very helpful. And then over the top of all of that, after you've clipped it, um, they want them to come with a big hairnet. So not the hairnet yeah. that they would use for their bun, but a big hairnet. I got it at Sally's as well. Um, these are really nice. They don't rip. They seem to be pretty durable. I've got the same <coughs> two for several weeks, for a couple of times. I'll be able to buy a new one. Um, but I just stick all my stuff in this so that when it's party girl time or blossom time, then you just have everything and you put it down. I have my daughter sit on a um, stool, like a high stool, so that I'm not bending over. If she sits on a chair like this, it's going to be in the way. So I would flip it around and have her sit like Indian style. Then I'll have her flip around too, um, or we can turn the bench or whatever. But um, just so it doesn't get in the way. And then again, your back by the end will be killing you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll be fighting with your daughter because that's always part of it too. Mm -hmm. um, last year, um, a mom told me about the paint sticks, and you can take the curling iron because you have to get it right up next to their scalp, and it's so hot. And ears, I mean, it makes it, it's bad. I mean, I burned my daughter. You can tell me you're burning your kids. <laughs> and so um, somebody told me about this. You can wrap this with a, uh, a washcloth or just like cut a washcloth in half if it's too thick. I didn't even need to, but I would stick this underneath the curling iron. I'll show you that in a minute. But you would hold this, and sometimes I'd have them, like my daughter just stand there because you do or hold it while I'm standing there. But because you have to like leave the curling iron on for a while, I mean, it, until it kind of it smokes, I hate to say, but you'll see it coming off. And you stick this under there and then it's not as hot. So I did find this to be really good. I never wrapped it, but the other mom did. She wrapped it with a, um, a washcloth. I don't know, taped it on or glued it on or something, but um, so it was a little bit softer or whatever. But I used that and I did find that to be very helpful. Um, I think that's all the stuff. Does anybody have any questions before I start? Sorry, I didn't know you were meeting. <laughs> Sorry. We didn't know you were meeting All right, um, a brush, I'm gonna ask. No brush. I don't. I okay, don't no problem. Sorry. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, you have a brush. A brush. No brushes. Okay, do you have brush? Sorry. No brushes. Do you have a comb? Oh, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Good. That's funny. All right. She's coming. Seriously. As far as rubber bands go for getting started, um, these little rubber bands work well. Um, the little plastic ones that, again, somebody said look like you go in braces, those work really well. Um, those probably work the best, and then I just snip it out with like little tiny nail scissors or something when it's done. Um, she's going to pretty tough. <laughs> she good? Okay, good. Uh, it still won't go too hard. Um, journey gear works the best, so it's really hard once the shows get going because you know they're taking like showers and baths. Again, my daughter wanted to get the makeup off. She's going to school the next day, and I, I didn't want her to go to school looking like she had been in a show either. So. Um, that was probably the worst part is because then you don't have, I mean, then she's waking up the next day a lot of times for those school shows and you don't have time to get it dirty. So it's just laying in bed and it's not getting dirty. So it's the earlier the shows, the worse. If I was, she was coming home from school and her hair had been down all day or um, again, just going all day without showering is the best. So dirty hair, the better. If you can get the girls to stay more than one night, we talked, go for it. I mean, I just couldn't with showers with my daughter. So, and she's older too, she's 12, so she wasn't going to not shower. But the younger girls, you know, I get that. Um, as far as starting off, the, the way that they like their, um, even their buns for class, and you guys might have known this, but you kind of follow their jawline right above their ears, and you're just going to go straight up to where it meets from the other side, and that's where their bun should be um, for class, and that's how we're going to do this basically like half ponytail. So we're going to just follow it up. You can use a comb pick.
want that nice and tight. Now, I would take gel, I don't even know if I didn't even bring any, but this all has to be very smooth, like the peel onion look, just like for class. So, do you care if I spray some on her hair? I won't do a whole lot, so. We're taking a shower tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> I would not do this at home. <laughs> I would use gel. <laughs> but if you ran into the, a bind, you certainly could, but I would do it like you're doing it for class. But yeah, this should be slicked back. And then I take bigger clips, which you don't have to, but these are kind of the bigger version of the smaller. And I just take this and get it out of the way because I always start at the bottom. Where did you find the little ones? Um, I got those at Sally's. Yeah. So yeah, I just take this and I just get it out of the way and put it there. Um, and then I just kind of, again, depending on your daughter's thickness of hair is how you kind of layer the back. So I try to get it. as possible back here. And I would do this better if I was going to with a pick or a comb just to get it kind of straight back there and even. And then again, just getting that out of the way. And then these, can I have you scoot up all the way to the edge? There you go, perfect. So I just kind of get, and again, you're kind of have to gauge it. If you start doing it and the curl isn't staying in, it's probably too much hair. So I would just kind of redo it, pull it back up. Um, and her hair isn't super thick, so really you can do a lot. But what I do is I try to get, I would say maybe like a one inch section and then douse it with the freeze and shine. All the way down to the end. Somebody said it was, I saw it on the It's my birthday too. Put, put I did. And Jack then this is what I was talking about. Put big some of this on. Yeah, Like I said, I did some experiments last okay. year, and I just found it it stayed better with that. I don't really know why or what it does. It's actually, I mean, it's a heat set product, so it wants to come over here. I'm gonna do mine. Actually, I'm gonna start. So you want the curls to go basically down, okay? So the way you turn your curling iron is kind of key. <laughs> so um, if, you know, if you do it like this, they're gonna be sideways and then fall down and Karen likes them just straight down. So they're gonna kind of be layered. That makes sense going towards the ground, kind of falling down. So when I do it, I just have my curling iron basically perpendicular to the ground. And then I just go all the way down to the bottom. where I can show you how to do this deck. If, I'm, if it's hot, will you say just will you say hot so I know I don't want to burn you. Is that hot right now? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you take this and I'll hold it with the handle and I just stick this right here and then I can kind of pull it tight and it also pulls and if it pulls just say pull. That's what I have my daughter say. So I know it's pulling or it's too hot and I just leave it here. I mean 30 seconds if, if, it, if you do it and it doesn't stay in then you know you need to do it longer. Um, and I just pull it as, as tight as I can without basically hurting her. Um, with the stick kind of underneath. <laughs> now I'm going to show you <laughs> like that, and then you can kind of fix it if you need to. But can you stand up and just show them the back? <laughs> so there's one. <laughs> and then when I take it out, um, I'll show you on the next one. But I do not let it fall down like that. I just slide it off very carefully and I pin it right up just to avoid any sort of um, looseness, I guess you could say. So yeah, you can wind it back up. Now. So there we go. I take my small clip and I just clip it up like that. And you can stand up and show. Alright, have a seat, I'll do a couple more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad. So then you're just going to separate it out, douse it with a lot of freezing shine. the 
part I was talking about, like getting it flat. So if you don't have that, clip in there. Sometimes if you're pulling these out, her hair is doing pretty well um, with it, but to spray it while it's on there is another option. So obviously I'm not gonna drop the stick right now, but just to put a shot of uh, freeze and shine over there while the curling iron is on. Again, I didn't slide it all the way off this time. It just kind of saves time and I just feel like it makes it a little tighter. And then I just pin that one up. So your curling iron is pretty clean. Do you have a tip on getting all the freeze and shine off the curling iron? No. no it just doesn't stick? No, it just seems sick. Okay. Yes. Yeah, now the, the one I'm using right now is Nance. Okay. Um, but the other two that I have, I mean, that one's kind of gross, but because <laughs> it's bold, you can't tell as much. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, see, I got my both curling irons at Walmart. They were pro, I forget, they're both the same brand, just ironically enough, um, pro beauty tools. So, I don't know that one works better than the other. But. winding it up and then making sure that the curling iron is perpendicular to the ground. High heat for sure, as high as it'll go. <laughs> Didn't say that before, but curling iron should be definitely on high. You can wear that glove. That my glove gets really sticky after a while too, so I threw it in the washing machine a couple times. Um, but this part right here, again, just so you don't burn yourself because it's really I feel sticky. Like you could use a crochet hook. Yeah, I was gonna say something like to slide it. So I, I'm pretty sure it was something like a, a wooden skewer. Yeah, I was gonna say so that was really stuck on there because that's a pretty good one. you've done it before. Did you leave this out or did you clip it down flat? Do you remember? Because when I've seen some of the girls come in, they actually have it like crisscrossed like on top. So like this, but flattened down on top of it instead of I'm doing it like on oh, the bottom so layer. Like so it's this more, down. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't think it matters. Yeah. I mean, obviously their curls were okay. Yeah. So again, maybe just depending on the thickness of the hair or something like that. But I always leave it like, I just feel like then it's poofier and it's not flattening it. Mm -hmm. kind of thick right here so I would break that into two just so I think if it's too thick you're just gonna end up doing them again and splitting it so you might as well do it from the start I wanted to thank you all for accommodating the schedule filling hey we're good <laughs> How's it going? we're good she's getting ready your hand out
And then once you get up to the top, um, you just do the same thing with the small yes. sections and the ponytail? Yes, and I, I'll show you. I won't do, obviously, her whole head. I'll do this row, and then I'll show you. The ponytail's the one I've had, you know, tried practicing, and that's the one that I've had a hard time with. I was just oh, thinking, okay. like, that's going to be the part that I'm going to have a hard time with. Now let me, tell me if it's hot or pulling, okay? <laughs> Actually, I've used those, uh, those Conair sponge, like, Oh, yeah, the, the pink ones? No, oh, well, they're, they're like a white, and oh. they actually have, it looks like, they're kind of like the old school white curls, like, okay. they have a ribbon or like already attached to it, and oh, okay. you can tie it around. Oh, okay. so, so you don't with use those. a... Well, I, it, it, it works, but it takes like eight, ten hours worth of... <coughs> well, I'm thinking about like the ones... I was, like, I was thinking of using it just for like the... Uh, the daytime the, shows. The, the school shows, yeah. you know, so I'm not going to end up... Yeah, I bet I was not saying it. I had a really, I couldn't get it to work well with huh? the ponytail. And oh, you had to okay. have a really small, I had about three packages of them. Oh. I had to have a really small curl. Did you oh, put it I in see. when her hair was wet or dry? Wet. When it, I did it when it, her hair was wet, and then I put we'll the gel on it. Oh, it's still nice. Cool. And then, okay. and then, <laughs> and then the <laughs> deal, but I did get her spray <laughs> after it was already dry. She's laughing the whole time. Gosh. Good luck with that. Looks like. So this I would just spray. Again, if you're going to use this on it, it just makes it a little too wet, I feel. So to take something like an aerosol, um, it probably doesn't matter what brand. This is just the one that I like. And I just spray it. If she has any little wispies, you can try and wrap them around and clip them in, and maybe they'll take while they're being held. Um, so I would just, next step, I would take this and comb all that down again, and I would put this back up and do it again. And you can just do it. Now, by the end, it kind of run out of room, so I sometimes have to layer up the curl on top of the curl. I don't think it really matters. Sometimes I have a curl, you know, up into this part. If it's really gelled and really sprayed, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, but I just try to find a spot for all those little curls. So I'm going to pretend I already did this. That's all right. Down here. Pull me away. And then. Oh, I did. one not? This part. I mean, I was born in the 80s. So, yeah. I wanted to be. This is what I've done in the past. I just separate all these out. They don't really get in the way if you've got her whole head done. All right. Is it hot? Fully? <laughs> Do, I mean, just curl the ponytail later. Six or eight of them. Um, yeah. I just couldn't get the ponytail. Yeah. So. What's the longest in advance? Yeah. I pretty much do it before we're walking out the door. Um, that's why I plan you know, an hour. Before you do it for the first time, I would recommend more than an hour. And the longer the curls, the shorter hair. But I bring kids to school with, with the hairnet on. I would definitely send the hairnet. Um, yeah. with the clips. I mean, I wouldn't let her go to school with, like, loose curls looking like she's ready to go on stage. <laughs> I don't think they'd say. I don't to go to school like that. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the older girls get out of school. Um, you know, my daughter gets out at 3.40, so by the time they would get down here, I have to take her out of school early, so that's a really good curl. Do you want to stand up and show them? Mm -hmm. So they'll just kind of come down like that again. I'll, I would pin that up. But that just looks like well, I don't know. Sometimes you do it. Yeah. And my daughter will be like, is it a good one? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> is that the curling hair that makes it? Because she has a really thin curling hair. Um, like I'd probably, one inch I would do as the smallest. Yeah, one inch, one and a half. Anything over two, I would say, is probably too big. Yeah, but to make the bigger curls, you're going to need a bigger curling hair. Alright, how about that? Uh, is that a one inch? This one is a one inch, yes. That one is a one inch, and I bet that's a one and a half. And I mean, you guys can feel this. I mean, it's like super crunchy. That's how it should be. It's nasty. But that's good.
And I've seen some of the moms, like, if they have a late show or the rehearsal, and then the next morning they have, like, a school show. Again, I don't have the schedule all memorized to know in cast and all of that. But when they come down to the green room and they're, like, ready to go to the car, their moms will be cleaning this back up. So obviously they're going home and sleeping in that, and then they're going to be ready for the morning. I don't, again, I've not done that, but I know that people do it, especially with the younger girls. So, okay, I pretend I've curled all that up and it's all curled and then I'm going to take this hairnet and I'm just going to put it over the top. Maybe, you know, another spray. I don't think you cannot get enough spray. <laughs> but you're going to cover this. <laughs> oh, you're going to want to see this crap. <laughs> and again, the bigger hairnets with the bigger... Have you even seen bigger than this? So it's going to hold all that up, whether they're just going to the car, or it's raining, or snowing, or windy, um, or they're going to warm up for the older girls. So um, they just have to have all that in, and then a mom will help them take all that out. So send a Ziploc or a little baggie, and you will get all your stuff back. No, do not take it out. It's better that they come in um, with it pinned up. So, yeah, we'll take it out, we'll save all your stuff and send it home and their makeup stuff and they got that. Just free, use it for the next time. So we don't curl them? Yeah, I just need a little bit of everyone just to stick. Yeah, don't you like this? Doesn't look good? No, not the new look. Does anybody have any questions? Do you always curl all the curls in the same direction? I do. You do, probably turn them. I heard like to do it different. Yeah, I can't turn a curl in the opposite direction. I know, I know. You have that dexterity. I have actually tried, and sometimes you get the habit, like if you're standing, you slide up, and you're like, oh, you know, and you can tell because it's not. Up by the scalp, then it's not as tight. I know. You go to off by the scalp. I know, she's almost on stage. Yep, and then she'll just come in. Yep, obviously she'll have those little makes and curls all over. Yeah, I think. I'm really trying to figure out if I'm going to do yeah. curly hair and rollers. Yeah, and I have never tried rollers. I know some people then put them up and set a clip. They'll put like um, yeah. one of just the, oh, like a roller, like a roller yeah, like the Velcro kind of one that yeah. would just stick in. But I was just worried that it's going to droop. Right. And this just, I know it's sturdy. It might take a little bit longer. Well, you might take yeah. You have to do it roll it and then roll it again. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, and then these are good. I'll put that out. Think, but also, if you guys want to take a paint stick, you're welcome to. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 <laughs>